Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Cabin in the Woods. It is the morning of day 16 and the first thing I want to do is spend these two skill points we have. So I'm going to go into Flurry of Blows again and then with the last one I'm going to go into Agility again. And that's it. Let's uh, hit the road. I want to do some mining first thing this morning. We need nitrate powder and coal so we can get a bunch of gunpowder crafted. And uh, of course, we, we always need iron. I want to drop a few things off in the Jeep here. I'm loaded up with stuff that I want to sell Trader Gen, and I just don't want to be encumbered while mining a bunch of ore. So let's do the mining first. We got to wait for Jen to open anyway. She doesn't open until hour six. So let's see if we can find some coal, nitrate powder, and iron, like I said. Then we'll go see Jen, uh, check out her inventory at Restocks today, sell her a bunch of shit. Look, we got some coal right here. Beautiful. Let's grab this, and then uh, we'll take a job from Trader Gen as well, and we'll also go see the Snow Trader at some point today. What's up, Jen? The name's Jen? I got some stuff so to sell you here. Dr. Jen. Oops, I gotta eat the sugar be. butt candy first. Well, maybe next time. I always know. forget to eat the butt first. You'd think I would remember that shit by now. Alright, got a good amount of coin to spend here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the AP ammo now. I've been putting off buying that just because it's pretty expensive, but we can afford it now. I'm gonna grab this 762 and the AP 762. I'm going to grab these bullet tips. Okay, 9mm. Buckshot. Uh, AP762. And I think that's it here. Let's check her stash. Uh, more AP762. All right. Let's look at her jugs now. I mean right. jobs now. I'm a doctor. Let's do this uh, clear zombies. Okay. All right, I'm out of here, Jen. I'll be back later. Now let's check her vending machine real quick. Eh, nothing important. I was keeping an eye out for steel club parts, because remember, we need six more steel club parts in order to craft a steel club. Unfortunately, Jen didn't have any. Maybe the snow trader will, though. I think the first thing we're going to do is uh, this job. Let's see where it's at. It's in Dyersville. Let's go do that, and maybe we'll find some more stuff that we want to sell, and we'll do that when we go to the Snow Trader. All right, let's get started here. Guess we can check this charcoal grill. I'll take the coal, leave the burnt ass fucking steaks behind. That's how my wife likes her steaks cooked. I don't know what the hell's the matter with her. I won't I won't cook it that way for her. She'll have to cook it herself if she wants them fucking burnt to the crisp like that. I went and took her to a nice restaurant one time and she ordered a steak and and the waiter didn't even ask. Like in a really nice steak restaurant, they won't even ask you how you want your steak cooked. Like the fucking chef, he knows what he's doing. You know what I mean? And she said to the waiter, can I get that cooked well done? And he goes, no. <laughs> he just straight up told her no. I was like, yes. I fucking tipped him extra for that. <laughs> Nothing. Got some more cement here. Let's dig this up and guess we're going up into the house now. Or is this like the garage? What the fuck? Where did this guy come from? Dude, am I losing my mind? I swear I checked that. At least he gave us a loot bag. Seriously though, I swear I, I checked the ceiling, didn't I? I must be losing my fucking mind. 
Whatever. He didn't hurt us too bad anyway. Uh, his forge is destroyed. Forge schematic, which we can sell. That's nice. Some 762, a spring. All right. Let's uh, take this cooking pot out. Whoops. Come on. There we go. Oh, that, uh, that sounded like a cop, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, all right, he's dead. Getting cops and POIs now, that's cool. All right, let's get back up here. I guess we can eat that food. Fill up our hunger, get it out of our inventory. Got a bathroom right here. This is where the cop came from. Some first aid bandages. Let's pop this plug open. Gunpowder. Nothing. Got this kitchen area here. Water. You know, I was thinking that, um... I certainly miss the days of being able to loot dead zombies, especially cops. Because every time you used to kill a cop back in the day, you mo almost always got either a gun or ammo or both when you searched them. Now it's like you don't get shit unless there happens to be a random loot drop. And even if that happens, it's always random loot anyway. Now they did that to help performance. Because, you know, if you're fighting a horde and you're just killing a hundred some odd zombies, that's a hundred some odd loot containers that have now appeared. Let's hit her with an arrow. Squish. She dead. So I get it. The loot bags help performance. But I definitely miss being able to search dead zombies. It was definitely more immersive that way. All these doors are locked. We got spikes right here. Okay, I guess we're going out this hole right here. Let's check behind this painting first. Got a backpack. Some food and bandages. Pop this out of our way. Oh, bird! Shit, I wasn't even paying attention. Fuck out of here. Oh, another one! Fuck out of here. Alright, into this bedroom. The bathroom right here. No zombies, I guess. Take that armor part. I'm good on that tank top, though. Murky water, I guess I'll take that. Let's pop this plug open. Got a backpack in here. With some dog food. Here we go. Stone spear, we don't need it. And I'm not gonna scrap it for one piece of stone, which we also don't need. I'll take the sewing kit and scrap a few things here. I guess we can eat the dog food. It tastes just like it smells. Delicious. <laughs> Wasn't that that, uh, that Tyrone skit that Dave Chappelle did? I swear there's going to be a dog up here. I know I've been in this POI before. I just don't remember exactly. I feel like there's going to be a dog in here, though. A zombie right here. Let's take him out. No, nope, that just pissed him off. Fuck out of here, buddy. I woke up other zombies. I don't hear a dog growling, though. So maybe I'm wrong about that. Eh, these two aren't runners. Come over here, lady. You dead. Grab that arrow back. Oh! Oh, that was a... I thought that was a bird for a second. Just this crawler. Come on. Oh, you little fucker. Alright, this is the main loot room, and I'm pretty sure there's a zombie in here. No? Well, I guess I just don't know what the fuck I'm talking about today. Or any other day, for that matter. Couple of hunting knives. I'll bring that level 5 knife down. We can sell the level 3 and the level 4. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go see the snow trader first, and then we'll see what time it is when we're done with him, and maybe we'll do some more looting on our way home.
I'll take the eye candy. That's it for in there, though. Let's go see what he has. Keep your what up, Trader Hugh? Is your last name Jackman? Yo, isn't it crazy that Hugh Jackman is actually a huge jacked man? That's fucking crazy, right? What are the chances? Well, besides bullet casings, this Good guy didn't have that. shit. Let's get out of here. Hour 13? All right, let's do some more looting. We'll stop at Dyersville, raid another house over there, and then we'll get home and get ready for the horde. All right, this place will do right here. Should be able to run through there pretty quickly. Let's unload some shit into the Jeep first. Because, yeah, we don't want to be headed home any later than hour 17 or 18. We need to give ourselves some time to prepare, but we don't need all that much time. The setup we have has been working great. I mean, think about it. We installed two steel hatches and haven't had to even use them yet. So even if the zombies do break through the two iron bars we have, actually there's only one set of iron bars there right now. They broke through one set last night, so we need to put another, we need to make two sets of iron bars when we get home in the forge. One for the platform we stand on by the stairs, and one for in front of the door uh, before the zombies show up. And that's pretty much it. And then maybe do some work down in the bunker. We need to get some gunpowder crafting with all the shit we picked up today. We Actually, we have a decent amount of stuff to do. And I don't want to be rushing, so we'll try and kind of speed run this POI if we can. Alright, we got a wall safe in here, which... I would say let's save it for the end after we eat the eye candy, but I'll probably just forget to come back up here and crack into it anyway. So we'll just lockpick it now and we'll eat the eye candy before we grab the main loot. Well, that was a shit ass waste of time. What do we got here? Zooming uses 15% less stamina. Okay. And down we go. Nothing. Oh shit, another cop. Don't even think about puking on me, motherfucker. He's dead. Well, that's crazy. We're getting cops and POIs now. Makes me wonder if we're going to get any radiated zombies tonight. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. So far, it's just, you know, dogs, spider zombies, and cops are the ones to look out for. Oh, this is that black strap, the super strong coffee recipe. But yeah, I would think, you know, a handful of radiated zombies is what we would get first before we start seeing demolishers, but you never know with this game. Anything can happen. Oh, <laughs> how'd that wall taste, lady? She must have thought that was the Willy Wonka flavored wallpaper. Where's this other zombie at? Up here? Yep. All right, you know what? Screw the kitchen. Let's just get right down into the basement and push for the main loot so we can get out of here. Okay, let's close this door, even though I'm pretty sure we're clear in here. I mean, the quest is over. Let's dig up this cobblestone. And, uh, hey, let's search and take apart this workbench. Then we'll eat this loot candy, grab all this loot. Uh, we gotta stop and see Trader Jen on the way home so we can get our reward. And then we'll get home and start getting ready for the horde. Oh, look at this. I totally missed the garage. We got some more cobblestone and cement in here, plus a working stiff tools crate. Grab this shit, and then we'll get out of here. There we go. Might as well check this trash, too. Nothing. Let's grab this crate. I 
I knew you had it in Ah, here. some more Good bullshit work. rewards. Guess I'll take the iron boots. They're worth more. Um, hey, you know what? I'm not going to take another job right now. We'll come back tomorrow, maybe, and pick one up. Or we'll just do some random looting tomorrow instead of doing another job for Jen. Let's just get home and get ready for this horde. All right, let's do it. Starting off at the door as usual. We got the bars and a hatch. They'll break through here quickly, but we'll get some kills also before they even get inside. Starting off with the dog. Let's go ahead and drink a cup of coffee. I brought the recog with me, but I don't know if I'll end up using it. That increases your ranged weapon damage. And uh, I don't use ranged weapons that often during the horde, only really for spider zombies, dogs, and cops. So we'll see. If we're in a position where we feel like we need it, we'll use it. I also brought first aid bandages, first aid kit, and uh, painkillers with me tonight. So we should be all set. Alright, they broke through the bars, now we just gotta keep an eye on that hatch. Oh, damn spider zombie. And you know, I was thinking, the hatch is put down inside the cabin, and the bars are put down outside. And there's no door. So because there's no door, there's, uh, we can put either another hatch down, or, oh, there's a cop. I don't even know if I'm hitting him. So many fucking zombies. I think we got him. Um, but yeah, there's a spot to put either a second hatch down or another set of bars. Nope, the cop is still there, unless that's another cop. Oh, shit, you know what? We should probably just bail at this point. Oh, here's the cop. Fuck it. Let's let him have it. He's dead. Let's go. Carefully pick these up. Let's get some fire working. And it's on. So yeah, I'll think about it. I might put another hatch down there uh, for tomorrow night's horde. It'll just uh, keep them at bay a little bit longer at the front door there. Looks like the birds broke in. That moron flew right into my swing. Here comes some more. Fuck off out of here. Looks like there's a couple of more up there. Well, whatever. I'm just going to stay here and keep fighting. And if they fly in here, then I'll kill them too. 
Probably need to start thinking about better ways to deal with these birds, though, moving forward. Maybe we can put, like, a blade trap up on the roof. Well, here's the thing. I want to remove the roof and build it up. So, I, like, my initial thought for this base was that we would just keep going up like a spiral staircase. But we just keep holding them at bay right here with these bars. Like I was saying earlier, we haven't even used the steel hatches we've put in already. So maybe we don't have to remove the rooftop. Maybe we can put blade traps up there to deal with the vultures. And, and if we, even if we have to remove them and build up, we can always pick the blade traps up. So we'll see, it's definitely an option. I mean, I don't even know if the blade traps would be effective against vultures. It might be better to put like a shotgun turret up there. Or we could just put bars in for the roof so we can easily shoot at the birds when they're attacking. We'll see. I'll think about it, but either way, we should probably address that before tomorrow night's horde. No, oh, son of a bitch. Did he really just fly back out there? A little sneaky fuck. These birds, man. They really flew in that opening, attacked me, and then flew back out. That's some bullshit. Well, we're doing a pretty good job keeping these bars at full health. Haven't seen any more cops. A few showed up at the beginning, but that's it. No radiated zombies. No demolishers. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, I think that guy's dead, but you gotta just make sure sometimes, you know? It's like the end of a scary movie, when you're screaming at the character to shoot the killer again, but they won't. And of course the killer is still alive, and we still have a bird up there, fucking with our roof. I'm just waiting for that thing to swoop in on us. The old motherfucker. Yeah, you're stuck in here now, bitch, and here comes another one. All right, I think that might be it for the birds. Oh, you're fucking kidding me, dude. There's another one up there. Maybe two more. All right, I think we're just about done with the horde here. And then we can focus on those birds. Kenny might be the last one. No, wait, there's one behind Kenny. Is that it? Nope, got a couple more here. Oh, fucking unbelievable. Unbelievable, dude. All right. That should be it. And the story of the night is these damn birds. No, hold on. We still got a zombie down here. Come on up here, girl. Finish you off. Thing, you're dead. All right. Come on down here then, bird. This son of a bitch. All right, we'll go outside and lure that fucking thing out. Let's go. Oh, here he is. Holy shit. Yeah, we definitely got to do something about these damn birds before we fight another horde here. And look at all these damn loot bags, and I used that eye candy when we raided that POI. I should have held on to it. Use it now, before we grabbed all these loot bags. All right, next time, I'll remember, maybe. Man, our inventory is full. Let's drop some stuff off into this crate here and keep working our way through these loot bags. And then we got to get rid of this little infection we have, and I'll use honey this time. People have given me shit or asked me why I use an antibiotic when I have just a small infection and I have all this honey. And the answer to that question is because I don't think things through all the time. That's a problem I had growing up. I just do shit without putting too much thought into it sometimes. And uh, that kind of behavior can get you in trouble. So don't be like me, kids. Think before you act. And that's pretty much it for tonight. I gotta get all this loot organized. And uh, we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 17. Man, five more horde fights. And we will have beat our horde every night record. 
So uh, fingers crossed for that. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Cabin in the Woods and more Maxed Out, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. <laughs>